www.deciblets.com Hi, this is Adol Ray for news, gossip and gut shop. Check out desiblitz.com. You co-wrote and acted in the sitcom Citizen Khan. What was the main source of inspiration behind um, the show? Well, I think I was just inspired by British comedy in general, really, nothing else. I mean, I was, you know, uh, born and brought up in a, you know, in a household. My, both my mum and my dad loved, loved comedy and sitcoms particularly, and whether it was Only Fools and Horses or Faulty Towers, um, or even, you know, things like In Ain't Half Hot Mom or In the Old Days, Mind Your Language. You know, we loved that kind of stuff. And so I think for me, it was this, it was, I, I saw sort of comedy as being a real, a real great place where you can bring people together. You know, to, 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 it was one of the few times that I would sit and watch TV with my mum and dad is to watch a comedy or watch a sitcom. So, you know, my, my kind of sort of view on life always is if, if I see somebody else doing it, you know, if I see somebody else who's, you know, a great comedian or a great writer or whatever it might be, you think, well, why can't we do it? Why can't I do it? And, and that's kind of like, you know, my sort of thing. Well, I, I want to have a go. You know? Culturally, religions do differ, especially in terms of respect. Do you think Citizen Khan overstepped the mark and got carried away with the script? Um, no, not not at all. I, I think it was absolutely loved by so many people. I mean, you know, when you when you get over three million people watching it, and you know, I I've had so many, so many people from different backgrounds, not just Muslims. I mean, lots of Muslims, but people from different backgrounds who absolutely love it. It's the first time they said they've sat down with their family and watched uh, a comedy together. I think that's that overrides anything else at all. In my book and actually many people are generally not upset with the show so you know at the end of the day with comedy and with anything anything at all you're going to get a, a split a difference of opinion I mean you, you you have no right to go and do any piece of art any piece of entertainment if you do not believe that somebody somewhere is not going to like it but that shouldn't stop you you know there's Bollywood films that are going on and, and there are some people who don't want Bollywood films you speak to the Taliban they don't want us to watch TV at all so where are we drawing the line I say that actually I go ahead go ahead going that most people and many people liked it you know and yes there were some complaints but the overwhelming majority loved the comedy and I think you have to accept that sometimes somewhere on the line some people aren't gonna like it so for the interest of our viewers what are, what are the underlining messages or theme of Citizen Khan there's a lot of people out there who want to know what did you set out to achieve comedy i mean that's all that's all you can do it's, it was just just trying to be funny there's no there's no message there's no uh, agenda you, you i don't you can you can do that you find a funny character um, and and in any comedy i think uh, comedy characters, particularly sort of the British notion of comedy, is that comedy characters need to be flawed. You know, unlike, let's say, in America, where a lot of your comedies are, are, are where your, your, your main kind of um, character is slightly loved and, he's, and he's, up, he's put up there on a pedestal. Whereas in British comedy, your comedian, your, your main characters are flawed characters. Del Boy was a, was a dodgy, you know, sort of petty thief from you know East London and a bit of a playboy, you know, um, you had uh, Faulty Towers who was could be slightly seen as slightly bigoted, you know, and 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 very pompous, very an Alf Garnet, very very flawed characters. So I think that that was the same thing with Mr. Khan. So you have to start from a. Um, making him quite flawed. He's got things that aren't quite right. He says things that aren't quite right. But in the end, you know, he does the right thing. In the end, he's there to look after his daughters and his mother. So, you know, that's not an intentional message that we're trying to do, but I'd like to say in the end, he's a good guy. He's a nice, lovable guy. What has your family thought of Citizen Khan, especially Uncle G's and Auntie G's? They absolutely love it. You know, my, my mum and my dad came over. My dad, well, my dad lives between here and Pakistan now. My dad came over especially for the filming of it. So he was in the audience. My mum too, my aunts, my uncles, they all came, you know, and they're, they're immensely proud. And I think that's, that's one of the sort of major things that I really kind of um, find, you know, really heartwarming, really. Because I think in the end, you know, you just think that our parents came. My, my dad came here, you know, what, mid-60s? 
um, with that old story, no money in his pocket, that kind of thing. And, you know, he worked as a bus driver for 30 odd years. Um, so for him, to, I guess it must be quite, quite trippy, really, for him to see that his son is now writing and performing a BBC One sitcom. So I, I owe it all to them, really. My mum and dad have sort of, you know, have, have done so much for me. How was it like working with Shobha Kapoor and Chris Marshall? Shobha Kapoor, Chris Marshall were just fantastic. You know, such experienced actors, you know, and, um, you know, Shobha, I mean, she's a household name. She was, you know, Gita in EastEnders for so many years, you know. So um, to spend time with with her and, uh, and Chris and, and for them to be so patient with me because, you know, I, my, it was my first real acting experience um, and for, for them to sort of be patient with me and guide me through was great. And then, and then not just them either, the, the new, the, the, sort of, well, I say new cast, I mean, the new for TV where they've done lots of other theatre work. That's Bhavna Limbacha who plays Arlir and Maya who plays Shazia and uh, Abdullah who plays Amjad, you know, just absolutely wonderful people and, and really good energy, on, you know, when we're on set. On a lighter note, what makes uh, Adil Ray or Citizen Khan, Mr. Khan, um, laugh? Uh, lots of things make me laugh, lots of comedians make me laugh, but I tell you the things in life that make me laugh more than anything are the themes of hypocrisy. And, I, you know, and I, I just find hypocrisy hilarious because, and, and we see that a lot I think in Citizen Khan the fact that the fact that Mr Khan thinks he's a, a, some sort of community leader statesman yet he's not I find that very funny um, so when it so when he comes to the crunch when he has to deal with a you know a, an, an annual general meeting or he meets a dignitary he probably doesn't have to deal with that situation I find that Mr. Khan has, he says he has certain values and, and he's got certain values that he wants to sort of um, share with his family, but you know, he clearly treats the youngest daughter differently. Why? Because, probably because she wears the hijab and, but the youngest daughter's quite manipulative as young people can be and she's got him round his little finger. I find the hypocrisy in that very, very funny. So I think it seems hypocrisy, I think, are great. Being successful in media is tough. What tips would you give to budding Adil Rays? I'd say first of all, don't be a budding Adil Ray, be a budding yourself. I think that's really important. I think, um, I mean, you can, you can perhaps be inspired by others or you can, you know, you can sometimes take a little bit from what others do, but I think it's really important that you find your own voice. But that happens over time, I think, you know, and it takes me time, and even sometimes now, I'm still trying to find my own voice in things that I do, so. Um, but I would say be, be yourself. Um, um, be honest to yourself and I, and I think that's that's crucially the really we're living in a time now where people think that you know it's almost anybody can go into media now anybody can get a camera you can you can record a video on your phone you can interview a star yourself on a red carpet or whatever and it's so easy to get into it but I think you have to be honest to yourself of why you want to get into it and what is it and it can't be about fame because it's there's lots of easy ways to get fame and fame lasts five minutes so it shouldn't be about that it's about what is your contribution what what do you want to do what are the things you want to do and are you prepared to work really hard over a number of years sometimes for nothing sometimes next to nothing and perhaps only ever see a paycheck coming in in about five, ten years time. You know, my, my advice to people all the time is that if you want to get into media, if you want to start writing, you want to be a TV presenter or whatever, it's, it's try and get a proper job as well, you know, and, you know, I, I was, I, you know, I was kind of lucky enough to get into radio, but in, until then I made sure that I was still, still at university or I was still doing some kind of job that earned me some money, and, and then I'd give up my weekends or I'd give up a couple of days in the week to go and try and chase my dream, and I think that's quite important, to try and get some balance, otherwise you just, there's a danger you're just throwing everything away. What did you learn from uh, creating the show? What worked and what needs changing for the second series? I think, you know, we're, we're not looking at changing anything. You, you know, you just, you just develop things and move things on, you know, and, and that's it. And I think it's, a lot of it is more of the same. I think, we, you know, we've, what we've developed is a family and, and that's what they are more, more than anything else. It's not that they're Pakistani, it's not that they're from Birmingham, it's not that they're Muslim. It, essentially, they're a family, you know. I'd like to think they're a modern British family. So, you know, we'll have just lots of other family issues going on and and uh, hopefully that will provide us with some comedy platforms, the whole sort of, um, you know, generation thing between, you know, parents and children, everyone recognises that. So, you know, I think there'll be more of that. And of course, Mr Khan and his, um, his refusal to put his hand in his pocket, I'm sure that will figure a lot as well. <laughs> Did anybody watch News at 10 last night? Seven times they mentioned Pakistan, eh? Twice! In a good way.